Hey guys, Miss Master One here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, Episode 3. So last time, we've cleared up our first dungeon, we did some side stuff, and we now have our first of the eight instruments of the sirens. We have the full moon cello, as you see right there in the bottom right of the screen. Now, we've once we've come back to May Village, we found out that Madam Meow Meow's pet, um, what's his name, Bow Wow, is actually been taken away by moblins and now we're gonna have to try and investigate and see what's going on so now that we have the rocks feather from the tail cave the first dungeon we can actually explore a few more places than we could before when we first came here also makes traveling a little more easier because you don't have to like go all the way around to go to places but notably we can go to this area right here go into the center right here and you can find your third piece of heart just jump right towards the center and there you go so it makes piece of heart number three. And now from here, you want to go north. Because, see, we couldn't traverse that path until we had the rocks th feather. So that's why it's important to come here afterwards. But come into this cave. Eh, who's this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys. Let's get rid of him. And now you have a series of battles against these moblins. But honestly, they are not that difficult at all. I mean, one spin attack pretty much kills them instantly. And there you go. And then after those first two rooms, you get to this guy. You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. He came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. Now this guy is honestly not that hard either. Yeah, you just do a few um, spin attacks. Like he'll shoot a few of those like arrows. Those are. Ow. That. Okay, get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. What was going on? That was weird. Ah, come on. So don't do what I was doing. You want to like keep maneuvering once he does that you want to do that hit him a few times okay now once he charges the wall let go and there we go he's dead all right ah uh, you suck and for beating him he gives you a fairy so let's pick that up and we have full health again and now for defeating the moblins we rescue bow wow you say bow wow what a fearsome beast all right and now we actually have bow wow all to ourselves. He will now be following us for a decent amount of time. Um, so now that we have him in our like hands, we can actually take him pretty much anywhere we want, really. If we talk to this owl, the windfish is on is in name only for it is neither. Hmm. That's a weird thing to say for that statue, but eh, whatever. Get over it. But yeah, now that we have Bow Wow on our hands, he can he is a very reliable asset to have. Like you see, he just eats the enemies that you come across and makes really quick work of them. Makes it super simple, super easy to deal with enemies. So you want to hold on to him for the next like you know part of the game because he's actually kind of helpful. He's actually very helpful. So and plus he's required. <laughs> just eats that model. He's, he's required to get to the next dungeon. Here, if we come to this house. Well, I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's right. <laughs> Not Phoenix, right? I don't like a... I don't know what that said. Something I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Oh, well, that sucks. Hi, Birdie. Oh, you can't get hit? Well, I guess that's for the better. It, by the way, if you try to go up to objects like pots... Wow, this object looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Yeah. Whenever you, like, approach pods or rocks like that, like, well, like, at this point in the game, you actually won't really be able to do anything about it, so don't even bother with it. I do not like these guardian acorns. They can go die. I do not like them. Get out of here. Stupid moblin. Um, these areas right here, if we go through here. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait on those, that place for now. Coming up here. This is actually a very late area that we'll be coming to near the end of the game, believe it or not, so... Just keep a lookout for that. We have a phone booth right there, but we don't need it since we know what we're doing. Go through here, and we have ourselves the swamp of Koholin Island. Now, the swamp, you can't traverse this without Bow Wow because, as you see, Bow Wow actually has, you know, this ability to eat all these plants, and he can even eat the giant plants. Like, watch. Bow Wow. Be a good dog. Eat the plant. There you go. And if you come down here, he'll eat that. Fucking hell, dude. How many guardian acorns? That the second one in like two minutes? Jeez. But anyway, come down here and you will find this chest. And this chest contains 50 rupees. Very nice. So now that we have that in hand, we can keep going. You want to pick that up because we need a lot of money for later. 
Um, we could explore a little more around, but it wouldn't really make a difference. What we want to do is have him open up the pathway here. Because, guys, even though we just finished the first dungeon, it's time for the next one. Welcome to the second dungeon, Bottle Grotto. So, right away, we have, well, of course, the same dungeon. We, like, you know, the map, we don't have anything. We don't know where we are. We have the pots that we can't lift. So, we'll have to work on that for later. Hopefully, find an item sometime soon. That'll give us the ability to do that. And right this in this room right here, we can actually light those torches, open this part, and kill those Stalfos. Grab this key. We can head back in here. And let's go through this door, open it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they have, like, those little slider guys, like, make it so that you can't, um, get hit with them as soon as you enter, because that would be cheap. I'm not gonna light the torches here, because I can see, and hopefully you guys can too. Okay, there we go. And in this chest, you found a stone beak. Let's find the owl statue that belongs to it. So that's where the, um, owl statue, or, like, the stone beak for the owl statue is, like, right there. You really don't need that. Of course, you don't really need anything aside from the dungeon item and the compass, or <laughs> the dungeon item and the boss key, really, to be honest, but, you know, just completion's sake, try to get everything there is. Ooh, I took that hardy and I didn't even need it, but whatever. You got a small key, you can open a locked door. Once we get the map, oh, oh yeah, and this is the first gimmick where we have switches we have to deal with. Um, we flipped a switch. Actually, let's keep going to, through this way for now. Alright, grab that. And so let's... That's actually a magic pouch right there. We picked it up and we got refilled back to 20, so... Make sure you pick that up. Hit that switch right there. We can get ourselves another small key, and that puts us at two, I believe. Yeah, two small keys. And you fall in a pit like an idiot. No, come on. No, oh, jeez, no, up. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm acting so stupid. Okay. Make your way over here. Oh my god, shy guys! Yeah, these are shy guys. And what you do is you just face your back to them and do a spin attack and you eliminate them like nothing. Now you'll see a key actually comes over there, like it drops down out of the sky by the ancient key gods. So let's go back over and collect a key. And that makes three keys. We are piling up keys left and right here. Let's talk to the owl statue. Part of the floor is raised, tap the blue crystal. Oh, if it is, so... Essentially, that's how you would know to pretty much navigate this place, is just, you know, flip the switch, it'll open up some pathways, block others. Kill the shy guy right here. And in this place, we can actually find the compass. You got the compass. Now you can see where the chests and Nightmare are, are hidden. This compass is a new feature, we already know about this, stop telling us about it. So now, we don't have to worry about missing a key, because we'll hear the notification as soon as, like, you know, we're near it. So just continue back on that path. Just wanted to pick that up for the sake of consistency. We have all the items at this point of the game so far. Coming over here. Oh, jeez. They're coming right for me. Put your shield up. Okay. And you want to get rid of these guys from dungeon one. Another fucking guardian acorn. That makes three this video or four. I wasn't keeping track. Come at me, bro. Okay. Kill you guys. Oh, give me a heart. Thank you. All right. I'm back to full life. I appreciate that. Ah. And we have some keys and just like a mad, a weird anti-fairy are those things called? I don't remember. Make every block design the same, a new path will open. What that's actually hinting towards is that you can actually push these blocks right here. And you can put them together, like so. It actually reveals this little staircase over here, so that's nice to have. Right here, let's have the rocks feather. Let's actually wait for this thing to go all the way back, then jump across. And right here, if you're fast, yeah, you can actually quickly get up there like so. Oh boy, now hopefully this next part won't end up too badly. You go through here, and we have the mini boss. Oh my goodness. Uh, and he actually does quite a bit of damage, so you'll want to be careful about that. Actually, the guardian acorn kind of helped me there because I didn't take too much damage, but um, you want to be careful about him because that guy can throw bombs at you. Fairy, get over here. Come on, fairy. Fairy, get over here. Heal Linky. Link, thank you. Because if he actually gets his hands on you, what will happen is that um, he will, well, if you attack him, he throws, he throws bombs at you. Um, fuck! <laughs> oh, god damn, fall down too many pits. Um, if he grabs you, he'll actually throw you and you'll take damage from that. And also, you'll, um, what is it? 
You'll also possibly fall down a pit if you're on a cracked like floor, so be careful about that and take more damage. This is very important, you want to listen to this. First, defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice, last Stalfos. It's actually a hint for a uh, room later. Oh my god, what is that thing? Well, actually... That thing over there, we really can't do much about it, so... Just have to ignore it for now. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well, you got the, the map. Okay. At last, you got the map. So now, if we actually look at the map, you'll actually notice it looks like a bottle. That's what they were going for. Is that, you know, it's called Bottle Grotto, so they tend to make their dungeons look like what the name says, and they do a good job at it. This, um, thing right here, you got 20 rupees. Joy! Alright, now go through here. You'll want to get out your magic powder, and yes, those are booze from Mario, so be careful about that. Get the fuck out of my way. Um, light the torch. Shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, this is close. Ugh. And get the fuck out of here. Ooh, a piece of power, don't mind if I do. You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. But importantly, now we have this chest right here. You found the power bracelet. At last, you can pick up pods and stones. So now this is the item that allows us to do a lot more with these things, like so. You can pick up these pods and you can chuck them at people. And underneath pods, you'll have money, you'll have hearts, you'll have the works, you have a lot of stuff. You can actually go through these areas like that. Thank God for a heart there because I thought I was going to fucking die. As we see, there's a key over there, so... Or, well, there's a chest, there, which contains a small key, I mean. Uh. Um, but right here, you want to flip the switch like that, so you're on top of the platforms. Um, right here. Lure that guy to come down there. And you can knock him down there, like so. Right here. Don't... Do not go this way yet. I'll just unlock the door for later, but don't worry about going there quite yet, because we that's actually the path towards the Nightmare's Room. And we do not have the Nightmare Key yet, so we're going to wait on that. Now, if you remember what the um, Owl Statue said, it said to defeat the Pole's voice first and the Stalfos last. Well, this is that room. What you want to do, take a pot, get over to the Pole's voice, throw it at it and kill it. Go to this keys, kill that. And then kill the Stalfos, all in subsequent order, and it makes this chest appear, which contains the Nightmare's Key. Wait, a... Uh, yeah, the chest that contains the Nightmare's Key, and the Nightmare's Lair is now available to us. But before we do that, we're actually going to go through this little path here. And I'd love to get a heart or two, because I do not want to take on the boss of this area with this amount of health. I'll take that, thank you very much. Oh, ow! I lost my fucking piece of power, you poop head. What the hell was that? Eh. But anyway, coming all the way back through here... We actually come back through this area, and god damn things, get out of my way, ugh. And that's the thing, if you don't have the thing equipped, it, it always brings up that message, so it can be irritating. But what we want to do is go back through here and take this red portal. This takes us back to the entrance, and this also allows us to get this chest over here. You pick that up, you can get 50 more rupees, so now we're at over 200. And just for the sake of it, let's just lift all these pots to see what the hell is underneath them. Okay, nothing over there. Got a heart. Another heart. Okay, we're at full health. And looks like that's about it. Hearts galore. Okay. Now let's go back. And let's actually finish this dungeon now. So, go through here. Go through the stairs. Put the rock's feather back on. And, oh. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? How did I not get damaged? Okay, don't question it. Just move on. Eh. I'm too low for that. I have to go back. Okay, I see. I have to go on that. Okay. That's not that bad. And then the piranha plant. You have the piranha plant from Mario. Go down through here, and we should be good. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. It gets really annoying when you have to, like, read the same text over and over again when you have the item that you can freaking use for that. Ugh. Anyway. Let's get the bracelet back on. Kill the Pole's voice. Kill that thing. Well, not like well, kill the red blob and then kill the Pole's voice there. Get that staircase to appear. And we are on our way to the end of the dungeon. So, once we've collected all this stuff, grab this pot here to weigh down this statue, or not statue, but this like little platform. You can come up through here. And we are now at the boss room, guys. So, let's take the rock's feather. And let's fight the fourth boss. This one can actually be kind of a dick. 
Ho ho ho! Is it Santa Claus? I'm your bad guy this time. Ho ho ho! Now, this guy... I'm serious, just wait for it. Is it like a freaking... Yeah, yeah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. This guy is a complete jackass because... The thing is, he keeps throwing fire at you and there's like... I don't know how specifically how you're supposed to dodge it. I just have good luck with running around the room like, an, like a maniac and that works. I can't move, but I'm still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. So what you have to do is pick it up and throw it against the wall and that damages it slightly. And you have to do that three times to break his bottle. Yeah, no, you can't hurt me and he recycles the same dialogue every time that happens. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, for a second boss, this is actually really tricky. I'm not even gonna fucking lie. I've died to this guy a lot when I first played this game. So in, in my opinion, he's one of the harder bosses considering how early you fight him and how annoying his attacks are to dodge. And he says the same shit again, but we're almost done. Okay. He's gonna throw his fireballs. Fireballs? Yum. At us again. Oh, keep dodging. Keep dodging. Go, Link, go. Okay. And now do this one more time, and that breaks the pot. Why you broke my- or bottle, whatever. You broke my bottle. Why you- you make me hopping mad. And now he'll start coming after you. And then you'll have this shit where he like, does like- he has like two forms, and then he'll like, transform the one again. And then he'll throw a fireball right at you as soon as you do that. There we go. No damage taken. Wow. Much better than the first boss fight. And there we go guys, that is our fifth heart container. We move on, and now we have our second of the eight instruments of the siren. You've got the conch horn! Magic conch shell! What should I do? Nothing. Prairie, prairie. The prairie is waiting. And guys, that is the end of the Bottle Grotto. So I think what I'm gonna do, even though we just exited the um, dungeon, actually, I was gonna end the video off, but one thing I wanna show off before we actually go, there's something that will, you know, give us a reason to keep doing what we're doing. If you come up this area, you'll find the Owl Hoot, the Windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the, e in the egg above. When you play the eight siren instruments in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave this island. Who? So we talk, look at the sign. Mount Tomaranch. And if we go all the way up here, we can see the Windfish's egg. And there's no other way to get into it until we get the eight instruments of the sirens. So, or the eight instruments of the sirens, more like it. But anyway, now that we have that to look forward to for when we collect all the other instruments, we're gonna pretty much end the video off here, and we still have Bow Wow with us, so it's just pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the video off here, guys, and next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, we will head back to town, and we will do some more side stuff, and then we will start heading towards the area for the third dungeon. So, I have been Miss Master 1, this has been Episode 3 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, and I'll see you guys next time. See you guys later. Fuck you, Guardian Acorn!